Hi, this is Bill Calling for Straight Circle Martial Arts, and this is a devastating short hook. So I already did a video on hook punching, right? We did the longer one with the snap, and I had some comments on it, and I understand what you're talking about because there is no one hook punch, right? I showed you a variation of. So what I wanted to do is show you a different variation, which is the shorter hook punch. So the first one I showed you was more of an open, right? And I pulled in, I pulled in like this. There was this pull in where everything comes together and it whips. It was a very good punch in mid range when I step and I need to just whip this out and snap it. It's like having a heavy ball on a chain. It's a great punch. A lot of times what happens when you're fighting is you'll be closer than that. And so to throw this is very difficult because you can't get your body to line up to it. So what you'll see a lot of times is you'll see like a shorter hook punch. What will happen is, is they'll come from their hips and their legs like this and they'll almost lock out their shoulders and they'll just launch with the body. So it's a lot less arm at that point. What you're doing is you're taking your legs and your hips and you're just trying to throw the force through your arm into the hand. So as you'll see is you'll see like, a, like it stays close like this and it'll launch. So if I got my legs, I load into the legs, I'm very tight, bang, I throw that like this. The variation I'd like to add to this to make this better is a lot of guys when they throw it, they go like this, which is okay. I mean, especially the head, it's fine. You'll see this. To the body though, if you want to throw it, you want to add a little more power. What you want to do is you want to actually circle into it. So you have to envision that as I hit, this kind of rolls like this because it gets more of the body into it. You get more joints. You know, if you're going like this, it's just one plane. When you throw like this, and this feeds this, which feeds this, you get more power into the shot. So when I throw these, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll load from the legs and the hips and I'll just throw like this. You'll see this bang like that, this explosion into the shot and you'll see the twist on it. Like that. It's a very tight technique. Most of it, you gotta imagine, is generated from your legs and your hips. When I like to do it, I'll actually take my hips and I'll contract them. I'm going to exaggerate this a little bit so that my body is kind of coiled. So when I throw this, it uncoils. Now, when I hit, I try to hit in the center of my mass. So when I'm coming through, you see I'm kind of here. I'm not out like this, which kind of wastes energy going that way. So I want to be bang like this. I still have mobility in the shoulder and the hands. I'm just not moving them very far. The reason for that is when you're in this close, you need a proper alignment to generate force. Well, if you start throwing those hips and your arm and you're this close, what happens is, is you're, you don't actually have time for your hand to catch up to your hips because of the distance you're at. You can do that from here, where you throw it and allow it to catch back up. But when you're close, especially if he's moving at me, it's got to be very short. Key is this. Hips, legs, knees, feet want to pop. Or they want to jump. That's fine, too. Some people will just launch forward with the feet. I can live with that also. When you do it, make sure that you compress so you can open and close with the body so it's very strong. And when you finish, make sure you finish with that nice kind of wave almost, which creates a little more power at the end of it. So a couple versions, like I said, I could pop, or I could launch from the feet. Your call, either one doesn't matter. Even though it's not using a lot of bigger body motion, don't be fooled into not thinking that there's not a lot of this inside of this when it's short. When you do this, you gotta check yourself for tension and make sure you're not hitting like a board. If you hit very stiff, the energy won't flow and you have a lot of trouble with this one. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It helps the channel immensely.